Welcome back to this introduction to Scrum. Now this lesson we're going to focus on the product backlog and how we can actually create a product backlog. It's pretty much the heart of any Scrum project because we need the backlog to know what we want to develop, right? And we want to work with. So we're going to try and just show you guys a scenario where we're going to, to be a customer and a product owner uh, who are going to try and talk together about an actual creation of product backlog. And, and before we start this role play, we will of course tell you about the different roles in Scrum. <laughs> yeah. So we have the customer here. This is me today. We have the product owner. This is you. And then we have the Scrum master and the Scrum team. So this is the roles in Scrum. And just before we, we get started with the, with the interview, I just want to talk a little bit about who actually normally talks to a customer. And it really depends on the software teams. It depends on the company. Sometimes some of these guys have multiple hats. So the Scrum master is also the product owner who's also part of the team. That's not something Scrum encourages, but sometimes it happens. So my point is just it's different for each project. Mm. If we are these guys together talking to the customer or this guy alone or, or how you kind of set this up. But normally we at least want to take one developer out there to kind of give some technical information if the product owner doesn't have the answer if what the customer needs is even possible, right? So sometimes at least one guy from the team will, will also join one of these startup meetings to kind of get started with the product backlog. So, so dear customer, what do you need? Yeah, I'm a hairdresser and I want a new, new web page where my customer can go in and book a seat in my hairdresser chair. Okay. Um, so this is what I, I want. How do you do it now? So dear product owner, what should I do? Yeah, right now people just call me, my customer call me. I'm, I'm looking for the thing to kind of wipe the board. I think it's... What did you do with it? right here. Okay, thank you so, customer. Um, so right now, uh, my customer just call me by phone mm -hmm. uh, and I need to use a lot of time of, you know, taking the phone, answering them. Uh, finding my book, uh, write it down and so on in my book. Okay, so there's a lot of things going on right there. You have to somehow get a customer into your site, right? Mm -hmm. But you want to do all this, you want that to be digital in a website instead. Mm -hmm. So um, do you have any anything you would like in the page to kind of, um, do you already have a web page? Right? Uh, yes, but it really sucks. <laughs> okay. So you have a sucky web page. Yes. So you would like some kind of way where you can present your products or something like that, and then you can book them or how do you want oh, it? Yeah, that will. Yeah, and and I need uh, you know the prices for my haircuts and my products as well. So there's also some kind of product page. Do you want to be able to maintain that product page yourself? Yeah, that I think that will be the easiest. So we have some booking here, booking. We have some products that you can maintain. Yeah. And With prices. You also have a product overview. So it's pretty much a, a full way to both present your products, your details for products, and also create your own products that you want to sell, mm -hmm. uh, including some prices. So when you make a booking, um, we're probably going to need some users. Do you expect the users should be have to log into the system before they can even start working? Not really. With your bookings? No. So it can be some anonymous users, right? Yeah. Anonymous users. But of course I need the name and their phone number and at what time they want to come. Also that they can look in the calendar and see what is already booked. Okay, so we have some kind of user setup we need right here. Yeah. Okay, and they can now book it. Uh, what else do we need? We need maybe a calendar, mm -hmm. right? So you can show your bookings. You also probably have that right now, calendar. Yes. Uh, inside just paper form or something? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, do you still, do you still, hmm, what else do we need? We have the products, the calendar. Well, I need nice pictures as well, maybe a kind of gallery. So some kind of overview page yeah. to show what you got, mm -hmm. maybe with the contact information and stuff like that. Yeah. So we'll make some kind of, we call that landing page, mm -hmm. but let's just call it overview. So you also said contact mm -hmm. information. Yeah, of course, with a map and so on. Yeah, with a map. Oh, nice map. Yeah. So here, this is what we call epic stories. So the customer just kind of described to me a lot of features that in reality are huge. There's a lot of coding right here um, for any team, pretty much. So if you notice the product one, for instance, we talked about both product, we have details, create, update, delete. So there's a lot of things she can do to manage her data. Mm -hmm. And then we also have the details for the customers to view it. So there's so much just for this single guy. So that's why we call that normally 
an epic story. So it's a huge story that we can split down later into minor chunks so we can develop them, okay? So now we kind of have an, a backlog of something where we have a lot of big stories. Some of them are bigger than others. Can you make that? Yeah, that's a beautiful square right there. So that's our backlog. And of course, normally what we will do is now we start breaking these down into stories, right? Epic stories in the beginning, maybe just calling we need a booking area. Maybe that's an epic story. Yeah? And then we'll start breaking that down into actual what we call user stories. So that would maybe be as a user, I would like to be able to book a time. As um, an owner, I would like to create a product. So now we start talking about the stories and we'll dive into that later. But this is kind of the overall backlog right here. Now, we also need to kind of know what is most important for the customer. So we might ask, what do you think? We'll give you all of this. Well, we can't give you everything. We are going to work with an iterative incremental mm. process right here. And the customer says, what the hell is that? And I say, well, that's just a way for us to give you parts of the product instead of the entire product, right? And uh, we, tell, we ask the customer, if anything of this would make value to you right now, what would be the most important thing for you that I could deliver to you in two weeks? I think definitely the landing page. Okay. And the contact. So those two. So people at least know who I am, where my, my uh, shop is, and how to contact me. Yeah, and then we could actually just start by doing the phone thing mm -hmm. for now, like you're already doing it. Yep. And then we have kind of foundation ready, just showing where you live and uh, where, you, where you work, right? Mm -hmm. And how they can contact you. Sweet. So that's where we'll start. And then we can then keep prioritizing stuff like next time we meet, she'll probably say maybe the products is very important, so she can start putting in all the products Notice she can actually start doing that while we keep developing on more stuff. So that's kind of the prioritization. And now we're done. Of course, there's a lot more in this than this two minute meeting. Mm -hmm. You'll have to kind of break this down into multiple parts and stuff like that. You'll probably have to have another dialogue with the customer. You'll probably sign off on some money and stuff like that. But this is just how we can kind of get an idea about the backlog that we want for our barber shop. Is that how we call it? A uh, hairdresser saloon. <laughs> okay. Whatever. You need to find a name for it. Yeah. We'll figure that out in the yeah. next lesson. So I think that's it for this lesson. Now you know kind of how we can start looking into creating an initial backlog to get started with Scrum. Hmm. So see you. See, see you guys.